Have you ever wondered how to get those really nice looking teeth on lion's mane or how to get not soggy oyster mushrooms that only last for two days? Well, one of the secrets is your farm's humidification system. I'm gonna teach you how to build a DIY humidifier using ultrasonic misters to help you achieve that high quality gourmet mushroom finish. What's up, mushroom fam? It's Gary with Fresh From The Farm Fungi. Today, I'm in Sedalia, and I'm gonna show you how to build a DIY humidifier system. So all the parts are listed on my Amazon affiliate shop, and if you'd like to learn more about growing gourmet mushrooms, check out our ebook, Growing Gourmet Mushrooms for Market, on our Etsy shop, Fresh Fungi. So the first rendition of this is all over the internet. If you search DIY humidifier, they typically tend to build them in totes. So personally, I like all of the objects on my farm to be movable so that they're not permanent for cleaning purposes. And I'll, in this build, I'll show you my latest rendition of my humidifier system on my farm. Okay, so materials you're going to need is a large garbage can, preferably with wheels. So I have this 32 gallon tote right here with wheels on it, so it's easily movable. Now, one thing you wanna make sure is that it's a watertight bin. So the wheels are uh, injection molded, so they don't affect the drainage on this garbage can. So the next thing you're gonna need is a float valve. So you can either get a nice stainless steel one or one of these uh, chintzy plastic float valves from Home Depot. This is just a shark bite adapter. And the idea is that you can hook up a larger water reservoir to the float valve. And when the water level reaches a certain height, it opens the valve so that you never run dry. That's the most important thing when you're building these DIY humidifiers is you don't ever want the water to run out. So we've got our float valve there. And what you're gonna do is drill a hole about four to six inches above the uh, bottom of the reservoir and attach your float valve in there. And that way you wanna leave enough room for the, the heart of the whole humidification system, which is the ultrasonic mister. So I like these uh, 12 headed misters they're really nice because if one of them goes down, you still have a bunch of other ones producing uh, uh, humidification. Now this one has this little amp power supply system. It's a 400 watt, so it's pretty efficient. And this will be attached to the outside of this uh, tote here. So I usually just lay these on top. That ultrasonic mister will attach to these floats and then that goes in the bottom of the tote once there's water and um, once there's water filled in it. Okay, so next on our list here is this uh, UV sterilizer. So they make uh, suction cup ones or just any aquarium UV sterilizer light. This is gonna come in really handy to cut back on cleaning. So I like to have something like this in all of my reservoirs to prevent algae buildup or anything from growing in there, which then is projected into the uh, farm. Okay, so after the UV light, you're gonna wanna get a fan and filter. Now this is going to push fresh air into the system and by displacement, the, humidif uh, the humidified air is gonna come out the other end. I used a, a hole saw to drill two four inch holes on the lid here. Now one of them I'm gonna use to attach the piping. You can see behind me, I've got one already installed in this grow tent, but it's just four inch corrugated piping. That's, you're gonna wanna use a uh, clean stuff. This is from last year, so I'm gonna have to clean this out. But basically um, I used a grate uh, a grate from Home Depot in like the gutter section and then attach that to the lid 
and that gives something for this four inch corrugated piping to attach onto. And then if you want to get fancy, you can get a little four inch elbow and that's going to direct the air into the room. Okay, so then on the other side where this four inch hole is, that is where you're going to attach um, the fan here. So I've got a four inch Vivor, um, it's an inline duct fan, and that's just gonna rest right on the surface like that. And when, it, as long as you have the proper directional flow going in, that's gonna push filtered, clean, oxygenated air into your humidifier. Okay, so then the last piece here is where the automation comes in. So I like these plug and play ink bird humidistats and you're essentially just going to plug in your humidifier and fan into um, the on portion of this humidistat and all the information is online once again the link is in the description for all these pieces and you can check our amazon affiliate shop but you'll want to set the humidifier with this to about 80 percent or so and you can control the variance in that as well. But when the humidity drops below a certain level, it will kick on the humidifier and fill the room with fog, that beautiful, delicate humidification. Another key component is that I run my exhaust 24 seven so that the humidifier is only pumping humidity into the air. I've got a four inch corrugated pipe with lots of holes on it constantly exhausting and that way it creates uh, a current of air and the CO2 which falls down to the surface of the ground will be expelled by the exhaust. All right guys I hope you enjoyed that video about how to DIY your humidifier. Once again check out our Amazon affiliate store if you're looking for links to any of these pieces or if you have any questions uh, shoot the questions in the comments below. Until next time, much love.